What's up, FOA squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy whatever day I get to post this video. All right, guys, tonight is going to be a very raw look at my new nighttime routine with these new dentures that I have. Um, it is a process at night as well as in the morning. But tonight, I'm going to take you guys through that routine. And I also am getting in the habit of washing my face at night or at least wiping it down. Because um, I can feel, especially in the summertime, I can feel that my face is like really, really like humid and dirty, you know? And I never was, unless I took a shower at night, was one that just go in the bathroom and just wipe my face down. I always just went straight to bed. But today, I am going to <clears throat> take you guys through it. So let's get it going. All right. Of course, living in a car, a minivan, you have to get your stuff out and get ready. And thankfully I ordered, and it will be waiting for me when I get back to PA, a uh, extra large uh, toiletry bag. Cause look what I got my, all my dental stuff in. <laughs> this bag is huge. <laughs> I got all my dental stuff in there. <laughs> like what in the who daddy? I gotta get that stuff more organized. I know the lighting isn't as great as it was in my SUV because I love that lighting at nighttime when I did a, a video. So I have this little cup here. I fill it up with some water. Not quite all the way. Fill it up with some water. Now this is the real deal. This is life with Anthony. This is what I chose to uh, have as a part of my life when I chose to get dentures. And this is what I have to do, you know, every night now. It doesn't bother me to do it, you know, because I've already routinely do it. Now I clean my uh, dentures with Ephrodent. And they come in, if you're not familiar with dentures and different cleaning products with uh, to clean your dentures, which I am not really that familiar with the various ones, but I did hear of Ephident. I didn't know about this one. So just gonna take one. It come like a whole bunch of them came in there, but since I, I don't have my dentures now for like, what? Two months probably? No, stop it Anthony, not two months. A month and a half probably. All right, this is a little blue tablet. If I can get it out of here without dropping it on the floor. And that goes, oops, can't put it on the microwave board. That bad boy was gonna slide off. I usually give it a little shake and it's gonna turn blue. But I usually don't even wait until it turns blue. I just. I just go for it, so here we go. Oh, good job today. Good job today, because I don't have any of that um, fix-a-dent fix on my teeth. I usually have some fix-a-dent left on them. So we're gonna pop them in there. And then I have pieces of it in my mouth, and I be I mean, here spitting away. I think that was a popcorn kernel, though. <laughs> I, eat some, I eat some popcorn. <laughs> but I do usually have some um, some of that fixer dip stuck in my gums. Got a little bit on this, the bottom one. All right, you can always already tell that it's, it's gotten a little bluer, the water. 
And I let that sit there. Now this box says only let it sit there for like three minutes or something. I'm like, three minutes? How is that gonna clean your teeth in three minutes? Now, while that's doing that, okay, first of all, I can't find my, Oh my Lord. I can't find my case. Oh my goodness, where's my case? Okay, you know what? Why I'm trying to do that. <laughs> trying to remember where that is. I go ahead and I brush my teeth. Now, this is my brush my teeth routine. It's it's really <laughs> It's a lot. <laughs> I'm not even gonna joke. It's a lot. Because I'm, naturally I have to have somewhere to put my mouthwash and toothpaste after I do that. But this is this is my routine. I have a bottle of water. Once again, this does not bother me because I'm used to it and I've been doing it ever since I've been in the van life. You know, mm hmm, mm hmm, Heck, this shouldn't take long. I don't have that many teeth in it. <laughs> Most of my teeth. <laughs> a lot of my teeth are in a cup right there. <laughs> so brushing my teeth shouldn't take that long. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Alrighty, and then I'll just take some water. I gotta get a better water system now. Gotta get a better water system. And I clean my toothbrush off. And once again, I do have a extra large toiletry bag that's gonna be waiting for me when I get back home. And then that's, I take some mouthwash. Oh Lord, I've been buying mouthwash. Look at this. <laughs> I got two new ones that haven't been open yet. Oh, well, one of them is open. So I must have used this once. Oh Lord, I usually don't buy another one until this one is down low. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm. Oh my God, that mug. 
All right. Then that's it. Mouth is nice and fresh. Oh, I need that. Still need it. Because I got to pour this in. It's, long, it's been in there longer than what they say on the box. All right. Then these go in a little case right here where they will soak overnight. Then take some bottled water, fill it up to the line. Make sure it's closed tight. Give it a little shake. Give it a little start on the particles to come out, come off. And that's really it. And then after I finish my, my teeth, this in my little cup give it a little wipe down and that's it for the teeth part <clears throat> now I gotta find my witch comb a washcloth that's what my washcloth is my washcloth is hanging out on the post there because I washed it so let me get that right quick washed it today and it don't smell oh it don't smell the cleanest oh my goodness that was almost a waste of wash all right let's get it because i need to do this right quick this is a process but it's a process that I am. Um... And sometimes I wash, uh, um... sometimes, cause that only gonna take a second. Sometimes I, I usually use this little tiny bowl here. No, that one is too small. I don't use that one. What am I talking about? I use this one. And I don't let this water get too goddamn hot because then I had to add some 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 colder water to it and then that's you know that's double water. So I I, I keep an eye out on it to make sure that it doesn't get too hot. Because the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash my face and you know, behind my ears and in my ears, and that's it. Then tomorrow I'm going to take a shower, and <clears throat> that's gonna be it. Let me tell y'all, that's enough right there. I ain't even joking. Wasn't that quick? I don't know what happened uh, yesterday. Pour that in there. Pour that in there. I got to get a better sink system, you know, just all together. Get a better sink system. I know they got those little collapsible ones. I actually got, I have a collapsible one in my um, <clears throat> storage unit, but it's too big. I mean, to put that little bit of water in there, it's like, what in the hoot, nanny? So I would either use... Most of the time I use this, but I'm only using a little bit of water tonight, so. And it's just to wash my face with. You gotta keep your face clean. Cause if you don't keep your face clean, you know, you're gonna have bad skin. You're gonna have bad facial skin. Y'all know my, my face is smooth. <laughs> Especially after I shave. Oh boy. What you talking about? 
I shave, then the right lighting. <laughs> this is on point. All right. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is my my uh, new routine for my dentures. And I try to get in the habit now of uh, <clears throat> wiping my face down and my ears and everything uh, at night to get some of that dirt off of my face and everything. And then everything else I'll take care of the next day in the morning. But that's going to do it for tonight's video. As always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys on the next one. But before I let you guys go, I just want to say just an overall thought on this lifestyle and the extra steps that you have to do to get certain things done when you don't have a proper kitchen space with a sink, a faucet, and all of those things and it's something that you should recognize going into the lifestyle that there are going to be some inconveniences and most of the time they are minor in inconveniences and you'll get over them quickly and you'll adjust quickly as I did you know and it's not bad it's not bad you know as long as you're in a comfortable place, you know, it's not bad. So, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it for now. For now. For now. For now. All right, let me get on up out of here, and I'll see you guys next time.